Let's t uh, take Stamp Stories versus Selassie, an enigmatic Smash Clash veteran, versus Stamp Stories who took uh, last week's bracket over Carnage and over Amphrilix. And over me and Smar and, well, a number of, and DJ and Gary actually. A number of really notable players uh, at that one. But here we go, Selassie with the Game & Watch. A matchup that has to be quite tough for Stamp. Of course, you're mashing on that shield with that jab, with that down tilt, you know. And of course, with Game & Watch, you have the best out of shield option in the game. Frame free, and it covers anything that Terry even attempts to space. Uh, so, oh, frame free and vulnerable as well, you know, because it wasn't enough just being frame free and massive. But the one thing that Slassy does need to be careful about is just making sure that they don't take enough damage. Terry will blow you up. Game & Watch is very light. Case in point. I can't believe I'm going to tell a Game & Watch to shield more. But honestly, it will work. Uh, speaking of working, um, Stamp Story is now having to put in far less work to get that damage now that he's uh, on with the go. With the go meter. We're going to have to see uh, Selassie try and get one of those uh, Game & Watch kills, whether it be forward air or uh, down smash, forward smash. Uh, what else? Back air. Back air's decent. Uh, key's decent, I guess. But, I mean, the more damage you let him get uh, get on, that's just more rage. This is, uh, like, basically, both of them at kill percent. It's just true. Like, oh my goodness me, a fantastic call out from Stamp. But not doing the input to get the invincible one, I think. Which means that he is going to die. Uh, or, or going to lose that trade, sorry. Here we go, Selassie waiting for the Buster Wolf, but running straight into the forward air is Stamp Stories. Now, uh, Selassie is much more of an even footing here. But of course, needs to get off of that ledge. Going to up be out of that. Okay, and they're not quite covering the platform. Stamp catching the landing with the dash attack. Really, really good uh, stuff there. But Selassie playing a lot of this match on the ledge. And typically, that's not a really advantageous place to be. Like... It's Game of Watch, you want to be in the center and you want to be in shield. And you also don't want to die. That's uh, that's that's just a kind of, that's a, that's a good tip, I think. If you're thinking of picking up the uh, GameCube controller, the Pro Controller to play this game, don't die. It's bad for you. Oh, that is a uh, misinput there from Selassie. Wanting the grab down throw or back throw, but uh, inputting them in the wrong direction. Ooh, not quite catching Stamps landings there. And again, we find Selassie back on the ledge. Come on, man. You need to be the one in advantage state for a change. Okay, yeah, going low. Stamp really can't mess with Game Orchard's recovery, like, at all. And so it's all going to be in the uh, meat of the ledge traps here for Stamp. And, oh, really good grab on that downer. Really liked that. Oh, catching the neutral get up. And S Selassie's DI. I mean, he wants to go back to Warwick with that DI. But, uh, yeah, really good game one from Stamp there. We need to see more shield from Selassie. Because it'll put him on the back foot a lot. Yeah. Sorry, it's been 10 seconds and he's on 42. How did that happen? <laughs> it was five seconds like into the match and he was on 42%. That is literally insane. But of course, this is fighting for winners, uh, or losers semis even, this match is for. So, really good stuff there. Uh, we, oh, we need to see. Oh, no. I think he's going to cross Selassie up, but it's not going to happen. Stamp uh, has gotten him to 98%. Of course, this is a new guy. But when Selassie left to go to university, uh, Stamp wasn't around. But Stamp's now one of our big key players here. And just another threat that Selassie, if he wants to do well in these tournaments, has to adapt to. Okay, good juggles with the up air. Actually, given Terry's full speed and a number of the options that Terry kind of has to commit to to get a disadvantage, that up air is actually going to be really key for getting damage on uh, Terry in this matchup. Ooh, okay, oh, the, the cheeky bit of bacon to catch the neutral tech. Safe to say that I think that they could have been a little bit big, bigger of a punish there, but still pretty good stuff. Oh, rolls there. Um, 
now we see Stamp in in the lead. You know, might be a high percent, but he's in the lead because he's got go. And he's waiting to try and get that uh, go attack to absolutely annihilate Selassie. But Selassie gets the up B. That's really, really good. Power Geyser maybe. All waiting for the landing there. Brilliant go to ledge by Selassie. That was actually so good. Like he's getting hit by these down tilts. But uh, Stamp cannot find any major confirms. But good catch on the... <laughs> Stamp looked directly into my soul, bro. I was like, you can't find any major confirms. Gets the Buster Wolf. And Stamp looks directly into the camera to be like, yeah, mate, that's me. I'm the king of this place, girl. That's what we're here to see. Uh. So, yeah, looking at it back on the ledge. Selassie fighting his way out of the corner as he has done really most of the set. He needs to get this kill. Otherwise, we're going to see one of them tra uh, tragic. I mean, tragic is one word to describe it. We're going to see one of those powerful Buster Wolves come out from Sam. Right, he's out of stories. Please don't say he's dead. Okay, he had to air dodge out of it. That's pretty crazy for 50 mid stage, but, you know, welcome to Terry. Oh my god, catching the jump there. Sam got a read on a few of those habits there from Selassie and actually making sure. Ooh! Making sure that he's getting these kills. That's definitely dead. Down tilt, he air dodged past, but the auto turnaround means that the down tilt is going to go the other way. And Selassie needs to find this kill. Because if you do not find this, that did like 35% off of one hit. He's a 41 because he got jab one. No way, is he dead? Good, okay. I was going to say 41% 40, of the ledge is actually going to be insane. But here we go. Stamp looking for the final thing to kill. It could be anything. It could be one of the go moves. It could be a back air. It could be a power dunk. Oh, it's a um, best of five, lads. It's a best of five. Yeah, I see you, I see you winking. I stories. Or is Selassie actually going to manage to find these crucial kills that he needs to do? And well, secure himself a game for the for the OG crowd of Enigmatic Smash Clash. <laughs> Gary trying to backseat commentary. Get out of here, Gary. We see you. We see you. <laughs> hey man, I might be coming grand, so I think you should be nice to me, you know. <laughs> That's how comps works here, ladies and gentlemen. A good degree of blackmail will get you uh will get you onto this position. <laughs> I'll give you five pounds not to say that. <laughs> All right, we like to have a bit of fun. We like to have a bit of fun here. <laughs> We're already in debt, bro. <laughs> At student loans. <laughs> oh, but speaking of student loans, the deficit that Stamp Stories is uh, is creating for Selassie here is 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 becoming bigger and bigger every day. Yeah. You open, you open your Barclays account, the interest just keeps piling on. But Selassie, eager to pay it back, you know. Uh, <laughs> yeah, very much that you played with fire, whether it's bombs or absorbing the power dunks. Surely that wasn't a guaranteed KO. We could have seen a little bit better DI on that. But 55% is all that is on Selassie. Uh, stamp even. Yep. Yeah. Terry is very, very cracked. I know, Selassie's really struggled to kind of uh, get those kills and it's very much been playing from the corner the entire game. And Stamp's been really, really good at like catching him in the corner and getting him hit. So that has been a real like struggle for Selassie this whole game. And <laughs> Couldn't agree more, my friend. I hope the mic's picking you up. I'm sure it is. Otherwise, this is going to be a very weird conversation. <laughs> uh. <laughs> uh. Right, oh, trying to get the up out shield. Wait, did that up smash miss? That's impossible, bro. Up smash is huge. But uh, Selassie, an entire stock down. We don't even see Go Meter active for Stamp yet. Oh. Couching the roll, but living, living is Selassie, not eager to die just yet. So unfortunate. No, what happened there was the uh, power dunks hitbox was extended because it hit the bomb. 
And because it hit the bomb, it then extended and meant that Selassie just kind of drifted into it because he thought the bomb would cover that area. It is madness. And speaking of madness, we've got two very, very powerful moves here for Selassie uh, to eat, maybe, if Stamp Stories can land them. But again, like, Selassie just playing out of the corner, trying to get that, trying to... I don't know what he's trying to do. He's just play, trying to play as safely as he possibly can. Uh, yep, free 31%. Selassie needs to find a down smash, forward smash. He needs to find, like, a, I don't know, even up tilt. Armoring through the forward tilt. Like, one more Buster Wolf. And I think that actually might be GG's for Selassie. Uh, needs to find that kill. Do we see a down smash? Do we see a back air? Back air is going to get him off stage. Do we see the edge guard? The edge guard is crucial here. Saving the jump. No, but the key isn't going to quite find it. Selassie trying to find it. No, but the dash back. Buster Wolf. The question is, are you okay? Selassie says no. Another free stock there for Stamp Stories, who will be moving on into the loser's semis.